there, yarn lovers. It's Gary, and I'm coming to you from my happy place, the Yarn Corner here on Vancouver Island in Canada. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Today is Sunday, September the 17th, 2023. It's my second recording of the day. I'm not sure when I'm going to release this video because I just did one moments before. But here we are again, and we are celebrating something very special today. It is my episode 200. And I can't believe that I've hit 200. I know I've probably collectively made more than 200 videos because not, not all of them are numbered. But I want to say a heartfelt thank you to all the people who have supported me along the journey and encouraged me to keep going. I've had so much fun here on the channel and producing videos. And after time has passed, if I haven't released a video, I do miss the commenters. Oh, the comments, I should say. So uh, I'm kind of doing this for the reward of the connection of what I'm making with people in the yarning community. So thank you so much. And to those who have just clicked on the channel and are wondering what I'm talking about and why I set this channel up, it's because I wanted to document my yarning journey and that's in knitting crocheting yarn dyeing occasionally not too often and also where i purchase and buy my yarn acquisitions from and that includes tools of my craft so if that kind of thing is of interest please stick around let's mark this occasion and talk about some yarn shall we i've got two orders in this video to talk about one is an online purchase that i made from a ontario based online store and they're called Artisanthropy Fibers and the second store that I went to in person is our local yarn store here called Uptown Yarns and I, I bought one hank of a new yarn dyer on the scene here in the area and they're just getting started so I wanted to support the dyer in their endeavors. So I got one of the hanks to show you as well. Okay, so before I jump into that, I should tell you what Hank and I are wearing. Hank is wearing the Dotted Rays by Stephen West. I recently knitted that, uh, I th finished it, I think, three or four weeks ago, and I absolutely love the make. It's a beautiful, drapey, crescent shape that uh, grows from one side to the other, so it's kind of asymmetrical, and it, the learns for me were short rows, uh, eyelets and eye cord um, edging. Uh, so it was a really nice, I'm going to say adventurous be beginner piece. And the yarn that I used was Hawthorne Fingering as well as a special hand dyed yarn from one of my friends, Penny Bolton. And I absolutely love all the color arrangement. I played yarn chicken and lost. I was 10 grams off the last wedge. It was an additional wedge that I put on the smaller size. And I polished it off with a little bit of scrap from another yarn that worked really nicely in with the color arrangement. So thankfully I had the color on hand to add in to the end to finish it. What I'm wearing here is this very special piece and I thought I'd wear it on this 200 episode celebration. Uh, and it's from my friend Jax. Hi Jax! And she has a YouTube channel as well called Creations by Jax. She crocheted this piece and sent it to me as a uh, a hug and I absolutely adore this piece. It's crocheted and it was marking an entry that she had added into Setter's Calendar Cow for the month of July and the celebrated crocheter for that month was Ola Jo and that's Andrea. Hi and Andrea! And the color inspiration came from the photograph of that month. Now let's move on to the purchases. So this one that I'm going to start with was from Artisanthropy Fibers and I got myself the kit here of all the little bonbons, I don't know what they're called, mini mini skeins of the Shepchers. I know I'm saying that incorrectly but it's the Stonewash River Wash collection and there are 58 little bundles of joy here <laughs> and I love all the colors they're kind of uh heathered looking or jeans washy I don't know what that technical term is but river wash and stone wash and each of them are 10 
grams, I believe, 10 grams, and they offer around 26 meters per little ball. And I purchased it for $69.99. I believe the closest that I've seen this was from Amazon.ca and it was $80 being sold there. So I've been holding off, holding off, waiting for a good sale. And I thought $70 was a good price in Canadian currency. Next, we have this beautiful ball of yarn from Estelle. I believe Estelle is a Canadian brand. I'm not too sure. Maybe audiences out there know a bit more about the brand. It is saying here on the label, it's made in Turkey, but I thought maybe the brand itself was Canadian. So let me read you a little bit about what it says on the label here. It's called Sock Twins Crazy Ball by Estelle. And in the ball, I'm getting 100 grams, which is 400 meters and it's 75% superwash merino wool and 25% nylon. The full feel of it is a little rustic. I'm going to give it, out of five, five being the softest, I'm going to give it a 2.5. So it sits there right in the middle. And the color of this one is color number eight. The care instructions for this is machine washing cold, tumble dry low. And I think I said it's made in Turkey. They're suggesting here to use a 2.25 to 3.25 millimeter set of knitting needles and crochet hook size, probably around the same. I would say maybe three, a three to four, depending on how drapey you wanted the stitches. So they were selling this ball here for $4.50 in Canadian currency. I thought that was a great value and it was discounted. So I got two of them. So there are uh, two in the same colorway beautiful bright colors. I think this one's my favorite because it has a nice mix of the goldy green yellow and a purplish color. I like that combination. Great for Halloween I think. Uh, next up is again the twin sock set in this colorway here and it is color 06. Again this was 450 per ball and I got two of them. Again, <laughs> this would be a great Halloween color. It's uh, slightly more of the maroon, maroon purpley color and a different type of green. But maybe that's my kick right now is purple and green because I do like green. A slightly different one here, which is uh, the, not the crazy ball, but it says sock twins and it's two gradients in one ball. So that's it there, slightly different ball of yarn. Uh, it's still getting the same amount of yards, uh, meters, sorry, and weight and the same suggestion and the same fiber content. But the color of this one says here it's 01 patina. And it's in a slightly different shape than the crazy balls. And this one was $4.20. I thought that was a great price. Next up I have for you, as I get it out of the bag, came in. I have had this yarn before and I gifted some of it away. I have some in my stash still to use and I absolutely love it. I just got it in a different color this time around. It is the Luminous Luminosa from Cascade. Um, this is a nice soft yarn and it has that chrome feel to it like you get to see in uh, other popular yarns uh, in the, on the market that have the similar type of shimmer and you might recall it similar to Hobie or Hobby's Metallica. And uh, there's also Rockstar from, I believe the Rockstar's from Ice, or it could be from Hobium Yarns. So this is the Cascades version of it as well. It's a four weight yarn. Oh, all, the, all the other ones that I showed you, the Balls, uh, Crazy Ball and the Estelle range, they're all sock weight yarn. So that's um, a number one, like fingering weight yarn. 
This one here is a four weight, so it's worsted and mm -mm -mm, the color are all the same. So I got three of the color in 08. Cascade also just labels their, their colors uh, in numbers. And 100 grams per hank, I'm getting 240 yards or 220 meters. They're suggesting here to hand wash uh, in warm water and lay flat to dry. Uh, sorry, in cold water and lay flat to dry. And this yarn is made in Peru. They're suggesting here to use um, what kind of needle size? They don't give a needle size suggestion but they do give the ingredients. It's 52% viscose, 44% baby alpaca, and 4% merino wool. <sighs> Absolutely love it. It's fuzzy goodness. Look at that shimmer. It's very rich and dark. And I've got three of those hanks. And here they've batched the full three in the same price point. So it says here it's $18, so that was six, twelve, eighteen. So it was six dollars per hank. Really lovely. I'm gonna give this out of the softness rating out of five. I think it's a definite three and a half to four. So it's up there with the softness factor. And it has a halo to it as well, so I'm not sure how it will frog back because I haven't used this yarn yet. Um, but more to report on that later when I do use it. Now, with that online purchase, I did have to pay for taxes in, a, in um, Canada, and I also had to pay for shipping. So that whole set of yarn, with that including that box of uh, the Shepchis little bonbon mini, mini skeins, it all shipped to me $19.11. I thought that was a pretty good deal for ship shipping. And uh, it kind of made the sale of the pieces of each of the items jump up a little bit, but I thought that it was still a good deal. Okay, now on to the next part, which will be a really quick part because I only got one skein in my local store. When I went to Uptown Yarns, I was talking to the owner of the store there and she was explaining to me about how there was a new dyer on the scene and she wanted me to take a look at the at the yarn. It actually caught my eye. It was on the counter, but it wasn't labeled. Uh, it doesn't come with a professional label. It was just someone starting out. So I thought I'd give them a try and uh, give them some support as well. So here's the hank here, and it doesn't give me any indication on how much is in here in length, but I believe it's a fingering weight yarn. And the sign did say that when I was purchasing it was 25% nylon, 75% merino superwash. And I just love the colors. Like the new artist that's on the scene in the area just chose the most delicious colors. I was drawn to this color selection over the other three or four that were in the bowl, the bowl uh, on the register, on the counter, because it had this unexpected strike of yellowish, orange in throughout the this uh it's like a burnt red and then into more of the pink and almost like a wine red to me it resembles uh late summer flowers and i thought that was very fitting for the time as well of the time of year that i purchased this yeah, so I'm going to pair this. I think it will work well with fall colors. Uh, it will be great with something that's um, a little more neutral and let this be the star of the show uh, if I'm doing some color work. But I absolutely loved it. So the price point on this one was Canadian dollars as well and uh, $33.59 for the one hank. So... I'm really happy with it. The softness factor on this, deliciously soft, very plump kind of fingering weight yarn. And I'm going to give it a uh, 3.75, 3.75 out of 5 for softness.
I do have a special surprise in the previous video if you want to go back and see that uh, in I think it's midway through the video uh, please uh, do go over and take a look and I will see you in the next video bye for now